Hello, in this video we are going to go over the solution of the problem 261, graph valley 3, and we are going to use BFS. We are given two things. One is the number of nodes, for example here is 5, and also we are given a list that shows how these nodes are connected to each other. And the question is asking us to write a function to check whether these edges could make up a valley tree or not. The first thing that we are going to check is the length of edges. Here is 3, while I have 5 nodes. So there is no way that I can have a valid tree because I don't have enough edges. So in that case, I'm going to return false. I say here, if length of edges is less than n minus 1, I return false. Now let's consider this condition, that the length of edges equals n. So, or higher than that. In that situation, I have one extra edge that creates a cycle for me. For example, in this tree, that is between 2 and 3. That creates a cycle. So, there is no way that I can create a valid tree when the length of edges is equal or greater than n. That needs to be n minus 1. Okay, here I can come and say, or length of edges is greater than n minus 1. I return false. Let's consider a situation that the length of edges is n minus 1, like this one, n is 5, length of edges is 4. It means that we have correct number of edges to create a tree. But if the connections are not valid, they are shaping a cycle, and when they are shaping a cycle here, it means that they use one edge extra than what they should use, and as the result, one node will be here alone, with no connections. So if I write an algorithm that starts from the root and go and visit all of the nodes and then come and check the length of the nodes that I visited and that length wouldn't be equal to the length of the nodes in the system so I can say okay this is not valid because then I can say there is a one node that is not observed and there is no connection like here I start from zero I go forward to one for two and then I check and see the observed nodes and say okay the length of the observed nodes is four while I have five nodes so it means that I couldn't observe one of the nodes it means that this is not a valid tree now let's consider a valid tree so here first thing we check is the length of edges that is four that is good that is correct then we start from zero and we go and visit all of the nodes. If I do that, I can visit all of the nodes and the length of the visited nodes will be 5, which is equals to n, and I can return true. Okay, as we said, we are going to define a variable that records all of the visited nodes for us. I call that scene, and initially that is an empty set. And at the end, I check the length of that. Say, return if the length of scene equals n, we return true. If it is not, we return false. The next thing that we are going to do is to create a list that shows all of the connections to, for each node. Let's just start doing that. We say call that adjacentary list equals, we initialize that with empty uh, lists for the size of the n in range of n. And then we say for i and j in edges that we have here. I come and say adjacentary list of i append j and adjacentary list of j dot append Let me print that. Let's see what we did. Initially, we had these edges, and I'm going to go over each element one by one and read i and j. For example, for the first iteration, I read i0, j1, and I come here, and in my adjacentary list, I add 1 to the location 0, and I add 0 to the location 1. Then I go for the next one. Next one is 0 and 2 in edges. So i is 0, j is 2. So in j equals 2, I have to add i0 here. And in 
the location 0, I'm going to add 2 here. So at the end, we have this adjacentary list, which tells us how these nodes are connected to the other nodes. For example, the node 0 is connected to 1, 2, 3. And if you look at the 3, 0 is connected to 1, 2, 3. Now let's start visit the nodes using PFS. We already defined scene. Now I just need to define queue. For doing that, I'm going to import DQ from collections. We say from collections, import DQ. And here I say Q equals DQ. So the first thing that we are going to add to our Q is the index of the first node, which is zero. Say append zero. And then we start the while loop. And we pop left the value from the Q. Call it node here. Q dot pop left. And then we are going to go and visit the neighboring nodes. We say for neighboring in adjacentary list of node. You see how adjacent list is useful here that we created. That was the reason that we could when we are going to visit the neighbors, that is much easier to have a list like this. And Next, we make sure it is not observed already. Say if neighboring not in scene. In that case, we are going to add that to our scene and also to our queue. Scene dot add neighbor node and queue dot append our neighbor node. Okay, we are pretty much done. Let me just print some middle sections. Okay, let's run the algorithm we get this result. Initially, we talked that we created adjacent list. That's up to here. OK. Then we said that we add the first index to the queue. And while queue, we are going to pop left that. So the first thing we are going to pop is node 0. I have node 0. And I go to the adjacent list for visiting neighbors. And I have three neighbors, one, two, three. And then one by one, we visit them and make sure that is not a part of the scene. So for example, for neighbor one, NEI is one, that is not a scene. So I'm going to add that to the scene and I'm going to add that to the queue. Neighbor two, we add that to queue, we add that to scene. Neighbor three, same thing. And our scene is updated to one, two, three. Now we go for the queue and pop left from the queue, node one. That is node 1. Again, we go for the neighbors. What is the neighbors? 0 and 4 from the adjacent list. So neighbor 0, is that visited? No. We add that to Q. We add that to the scene. Neighbor 4, is neighbor 4 visited already? No. We add that to scene and we add, we add that to Q. Then I go for the node 2. When I pop left from the Q, the node is node 2. For node 2, the only neighbor is zero. If you remember here, no two neighbor is zero. So is that observed already? Yes, that is part of the scene. So we just continue the while loop. We go and pop left the next one, which is no three. No three, the only neighbor is zero. That is a part of scene, yes. So we continue to the next one. Next one from the queue is zero, node zero. I'm going to observe the neighbors. What are the neighbors? Neighbors are one, two, three. All of them are part of the scene. So we are not going to do anything. We go and for the next one from the queue, which is node four. Node four has only one neighbor. That is neighbor one. That is node one. Node one is also part of the scene. So nothing happens. At the end, we check the length of the scene, which is five. And we see that, okay, that is equal to n. So it means that we were able to observe all of the nodes. Here, we started from zero and we were able to observe all of the nodes because the number of the, that we have at the end in the scene set equals to the n. Let's talk about time complexity. 
So we had a for loop here. So that's going to be order of n. And also we have a for loop here that we created that adjacent list. So that one is also order of n. And also we have BFS in which we visit each node only once and time complexity of that is order of n. As a result, the total time complexity is order of n. For the space complexity, we created this adjacent list that the length of that is n here. And for that one, we also, for each element, we have a list that shows the connections to the other nodes, which are our edges. As a result, we need n plus e for the space complexity. But this e here is the number of edges we already so that that needs to be equals to n minus 1. And because we bounded that and make sure that is n minus 1 to start the algorithm, so that is always pretty much very close to n. So we could say that is 2n. And as 2 is just a constant number, we can say the space complexity is order of n. And for the BFS, we are also using a queue, and that queue in a worst case scenario needs n spots. As a result, the total space complexity of this problem is also order of n. Okay, this is the solution of the problem to 61. And thank you so much again for watching this video.